I'd like to share a simple but powerful method to help clients think about situations in a whole new way. Hmm, should we have Chinese food or Mexican food for dinner? A common situation, right? Not necessarily a professional coaching situation though, but it is reflective of the type of thinking our clients often engage in, which you might know as either or thinking. Either I do this or I do that. And they think that those are their two options and they're having trouble choosing one or the other. Teams do this as well. They get into situations where they think they have two options. Instead of either or thinking, Peter Hawkins, who's a team coaching expert, calls it team polarities, right? They have polarities. An example of that is a team that I recently worked with that likes to make decisions fairly quickly, but they also value thoughtful decision-making that is driven by the input from people who have things to say. They want to be heard. This can protract the decision-making process, right? So they were wondering, well, how can we still make decisions quickly and give our decisions their full due? Can we really do both? I had a one-on-one -on -one client who had a senior leader choose to leave the company. And now they were considering whether they should take over that leadership role as an interim leader for the team that needs leadership or elevate one of the junior people to be the interim leader. Hmm, either I'm the interim leader or this junior person will be the interim leader. The challenge with that situation is they didn't wanna give the junior person the idea that they were being groomed to take on that role and they were a little bit anxious that that could be the situation were they to give them that. So it's either they take it on or they assign it to the other person. Of course, as a coach, we can help our clients break through to a whole new set of opportunities by saying, how can you do both? Hmm, how can you do both? How can the team still make decisions quickly and give team members the opportunity to weigh in? Well, when the team really embraced the opportunity of how can you do both, they thought, well, for one thing, we don't always need to weigh in. There are situations and decisions that aren't so large and so high stakes that we could let the decision maker just make the decision. Okay, great. And then there are those times where the decision is a little more high stakes. There are more people that will be collectively affected by the decision. And so we should take some time to weigh in. However, maybe we should set a deadline for the discussion process before we make a decision. Hmm, that's how we could do both. Or maybe we shouldn't have everybody involved in the decision making and just have a few people involved so that the opinion sharing period doesn't take so long and we can still make a relatively quick decision and have regarded the opinions of the people that matter. Hmm. Those are three different ways to embrace the how can you do both because they really wanted to embrace both ends but live somewhere in the middle. Getting back to our one-on-one -on -one client, how could they have both? Well, maybe they don't really need to consider calling it interim leader. Maybe they could actually take the responsibilities of the outgoing leader and divvy them up between themselves and the junior leader so that the junior leader gets an opportunity to shine and show what they can do at, with some advanced responsibilities. And the leader still takes on those responsibilities that they're not yet comfortable handing to the junior person just yet but they would like to give them a chance and reward them for their loyalty and perhaps even consider them for that position along with other candidates that are coming in from the outside. So this is a way to release the burden that they have of taking on all that responsibility and also feeling bad about not giving that person a chance to step up and show what they can do, right? It's not either or, it's and. It's moving to the middle and discovering ideas and opportunities there. So this is what we do with our clients when we find that they're getting stuck in this either or mentality or teams grappling with polarities. Just start with that magic question, 
how can you have both? How could you do both? And then see where it goes from there. I hope this helps you the next time that you run into this situation with a client that's exercising this type of thinking and being blocked by it so that you can help them have a breakthrough and show great value in that coaching session. If this video has been helpful to you, please like it, comment on it, and share it. If you'd like to learn more about my executive coach training and certification programs, please visit my website, bayareaexecutivecoachtraining.com, or feel free to email me at michael at bayareaexecutivecoach.com. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so right away as I release new videos every week. Thank you very much.